Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is Ray Alexa here, bringing you guys another video on Lunite. We are finally back on Lunite. That is right. Before we get in this video, we are doing a massive giveaway. We're going to give away two $50 bonds and five spring boxes to two lucky winners. All I have to do is comment your in-game name below. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Make sure you guys like this video. There is currently 457 players online right now on midday. That is absolutely insane, you guys. So if you guys haven't checked out Lunite, click that link in the description down below. I'll be putting my Discord link in the description down below as well. So if you want to check out my Discord link, click that link in the description down well i hope you guys enjoying this video so they currently just had a new update into the new season for april so we're gonna go into that and show you guys all the new sneak peeks and the updates so the new season pass rewards you have your tier one for free and your member so your member will be thirty dollars if you guys want to donate for that you guys can do colon colon donate in game for that um, we have the Ember Golem, new monster accessible once you have completed the Golden Season Pass, can be instanced using an instance token, we will go over that later. Here is the drop table of the Golem monster, it drops the Golem pet, 1 out of 50,000 chance, but I am pretty sure it is probably one of the best pets. There is the Ember Golem pet, it does provide 65 drop rate boost, so that is absolutely insane. They currently do have a new Ember ring, only obtainable from completing the Ember Golem collection log, provides 2500 stats and 45% drop rate. Here is the emblem. Uh, of the ring and then here is the new collection log once you complete the whole collection log you will get the ember ring new spring seasonal boxes a spring seasonal box that will be discounted after spring obtainable in the online donator store so here is the rewards from the spring seasonal box the cloak of springs is tradable cape only obtainable from the spring seasonal box best in slop cape that provides 60k in all stats and 70 percent drop rate boost that is absolutely insane and then they have the new Cornet of Spring, tradable helm only obtainable from the Spring Seasonal Box, best in slot helm that provides 2% damage overall and 40% drop rate boost. They have a new Bork, new zone accessible by Control Z or doing colon colon Bork. It also requires 50k Fenrar kills to access. And then here is the drop table of Bork. And then there is the pet, one of the 25,000. And there's the Bork set. Here is the new Bork armor set, the mid-level armor obtained from Bork, each piece can be dissolved for a 100k upgrade token, so if you guys don't want it, you can dissolve it. The Bork pet obtained from the Bork that provides 60% drop rate boost. And then here is your new Assassin's Guild, it's the new minigame that requires 50k Bork kills and a sacrifice of 3 white weapons to enter. After you enter in the Assassin's Guild, you have to progress through the tiers, you progress the tiers by getting kill count of Assassin monsters and sacrificing items. After completing the tiers, you can become an Assassin Master and acquire an Assassin costume. There is 3 different costumes. Here is the minigame of the Assassins. Here is tier 1. Um, the next tier, tier 2, requirements for the next tier, they're all different requirements for tiers, and then here is tier 3. Beginning at tier 3, Assassin's grants you access to kill Shadow Hunters. To progress to obtain Assassin Master, you must kill 150k Shadow Hunters and sacrifice 250 mil upgrade tokens. After completing tier 3, you will receive an Assassin costume scroll as a reward. So it's pretty much like an end game kind of thing. The Faceless Assassins, unlocked by being at least a tier 1 Assassin, can be killed by one room in the Assassin's Guild or Instance Tokens. Here's the Lotus Warriors, which looks super, super clean, and then the Shadow Hunter, which is my favorite. And then here's the drop tables of all three of those. Assassin's Claw can be obtained by completing tier 1 in the Assassin's Guild. Best in slash special weapon with 50k melee stats and 30% drop rate boost. Here is the spec um, of them using the Assassin's Claws. And then they have the Gemstone Kaski obtained by completing Tier 2 in the Assassin's Guild, used to create an Assassin's Quiver. Here's the Assassin's Quiver, best in slot, ammunition slot item with 10k in all stats and 30% drop rate boost. Has a permanent healing ammo effect, which is absolutely insane. And then here is your custom scroll, you can click from each tier, uh, whichever one you want. I really like the Shadow Hunter one. Here's the Assassin's Costume, they all have the same um, benefits and everything, so you guys can pick on which one you want. And then they have a new Clan Chat tab that they just added currently in the menu. Uh, so you can click which uh, chat you want to be in. You can either go into the market, you can do whatever, the health discussion, and then miscellaneous updates that you just added. So guys, they just do constant, constant updates. They currently just updated uh, about five, six days ago. So they do updates literally like every week, you know, two weeks. It, it's just crazy and their content's absolutely insane. So guys, if you haven't checked out Luna, click that link in the description. So here is the new monster, the Ember Golem. You can go to the Ember Golem once you have completed the season six gold pass. You guys can obtain that gold pass by donating for $30. You can also do colon colon donate in game and it'll bring you to the shop and you can donate that way. Um, so here is the drop table of the Golem, Ember Golem. It drops 2,500 
upgrade tokens, 175 PBM tickets, a dollar scroll, supreme attachments, a bunch of scrolls and armor and a bunch of other rewards. So here is the Ember Golem pet. We will also show that off as well. So here is the Ember Golem pet. Looks super, super clean. It's got a Lunite logo on the back. That just is so, so clean. It gives you amazing stats. So guys, definitely make sure you get that season pass, gold pass, and obtain your Ember Golem because that looks so, so clean. I love the logo on the back of it too. So if you guys want to get to the new Bork zone, all you guys are going to do is do colon colon Bork and it'll teleport you to the Bork zone. Here is the Borks, looks super, super clean. You can also click drops and look at its drops. So it drops 2,500 upgrade tokens, 175 PBM tickets, a Bork pet, one out of 25,000, and then the Bork armor, which you can dissolve it for 100K upgrade tokens, and then it drops a bunch of miscellaneous other things. So let's go ahead and kill one of these and see how much health it has. Not bad, I mean, like, we have pretty good gear, but these things look so, so clean. I love this feature. Looks so sick, dude. So here is the new Ember Ring obtained from the Ember Golem. Um, once you complete the collection log, you can go ahead and obtain the Ember Ring, which gives you a 45% drop rate, which is a lot better than the Infernal Ring that gives you a 40% drop rate. So just completing the collection log um, from the uh, Ember Golem, you will get yourself the Ember Ring. So it's definitely worth it for getting the Season Gold Pass, um, just because you obtain a ember ring once you complete the collection log which is 45 percent drop rate that's absolutely insane for free so if you go to mini games and you click mini games and you go down to the assassins guild you will have the new assassins mini game that you guys can access you can get the assassins claw gemstone kasaki and the assassin costume scroll so if you click teleport it will tell you that you need to sacrifice 50k board kill count and sacrifice the three light weapons once you have done that, you can sacrifice it and enter the Assassin's Guild. So here's the rewards that you will get. The Assassin's Quiver, which gives you 10,000 stats and permanent healing um, on all um, combat styles. So there it goes, depletes my stats, and then it goes up. It also gives you drop rate boost as well, so that is super, super nice. Here is the Assassin Claws as well that you guys can get the best in-game spec weapon. We will also go spec a boss real quick. We'll just do Borg, for instance, and we're going to go ahead and spec one of these Borgs and see how it works. Dude, that is crazy. Oh my god, and it only takes away 30%. Dude, that's nuts. Holy cow, is that crazy. That's insane, you guys. So just doing the minigame, you guys get the Assassin Claws and the Assassin's Quiver. Literally, absolutely insane. Like, that looks so clean, too, you guys. And it's the best spec weapon. So if you guys want to spec out a boss instantly, just use these Assassin Claws. <laughs> Those things are absolutely insane. And then you have the Assassin Costume Scroll. So now you can pick... You can pick one costume, they provide 25% damage boost and 45 drop rate boost. So you have the Faceless, Death Lotus, and the Shadow Hunter. We're going to go ahead and pick the Shadow Hunter. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wear the Shadow Hunter. And now we literally look like a Shadow Hunter. That looks so clean, dude. Like, look at that. That is so fire. Like, I can't get over that. Like, that looks so clean. Like, the models that they do on here is absolutely insane. And it literally just goes in your custom slot right here. We currently just added some new spring boxes, so we're going to go ahead and open some of these. You guys can obtain them by donating. I'm not exactly sure how much they are, but um, they are really, really good if you can get the Cloak of Spring or the Crown. Um, it gives you times two the damage, so that's absolutely insane. And then the Cloak is literally almost the exact same. So we're going to go ahead and open some of these. So here are the rewards that you can get. You can get a Gold Card Pack, the Cloak of Springs, and the Cornet Spring. Uh, so let's just go ahead and quick open some of these. We got 25 OP chests. A silver casket, a silver casket, a zenite casket, not bad. Let's see if we can get like a rare, maybe. Hopefully. Well, we didn't really get a rare, but... We got a fortune casket, four ruby caskets, six launch caskets, 600 grand mystery boxes, a Xenia casket, as we got as a rare, so it's not too bad. 200 OP chests and 11 silver caskets. So guys, definitely, if you guys want to get one of those spring boxes, all you guys have to do is do a colon colon and donate, and you guys can buy them on the store. If you click your upgrade tokens and then you go to the Assassin's Quiver, you can also upgrade the Assassin's Quiver with the following ingredients, the gemstone casket, the melee range, and mage 50 mil upgrade tokens 25 healing arrows healing runes and healing dusks and it'll be a hundred success rate and you can get the assassin's quiver that way as well if you want to upgrade it 
So from the springs boxes, like I showed you guys earlier in the video, here is the two rare items that you can get. The Cornet of Spring and the Cloak of Spring. It has 60k stats and it also has 75% drop rate boost. And the Cornet Spring has 40% chance of drop rate and does times two your damage, I believe. Um, I'm not exactly sure on that. But those are the two rare items that you guys can get from... Um, the spring of boxes that looks super super clean too as well we do have a golden bronze card pack so let's go ahead and open this let's see what we get we got 51 dollars scrolls uh pbm tickets collector's necklace three that looks pretty good uh we have a bronze card pack let's go ahead and open that as well and we got a purifier staff 2200 instance tokens op chest five dollar bond and seven one dollar scrolls not too bad i mean i like those those are really really cool so we just finished our gold season pass. So we're gonna go ahead and teleport to the Ember Golems. So they protect from melee, so you have to use range and mage. Dude, look at those. They look so clean. It looks just like the pet too. Like I love the Lunite logo on the back as well. Here is the drop table for them as well. Uh, tier four set, upgrade token packs, um, damage scroll, supreme attachments, and then the Ember Golem pet. One out of 50,000. Let's go ahead and kill one of these. Let's see what we get. I think we got upgrade tokens. I'm not exactly sure. Let's kill one more and see if we get something. Okay, we got PVM tickets, so not too bad. I mean, dude, those look so clean. I love the feature of that, like the model of those. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> That's so sick. But guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video on Lunate. There is currently 465 players online, so even more players got online since I did the video. Um, but I definitely hope to see you guys on this server. If you guys haven't checked the server, I'll click that link in the description down below. Like I said before, if you guys ever want to check out my Discord, click that link in the description down below as well. And it will pop you up to my Discord. You can come hang out, uh, chat with me, whatever. Um, I'll be putting their homepage as well, so if you guys ever want to get to their store or you can't donate, whatever, um, just click that link as well and it'll bring you to their homepage. But like I said before, we are giving away five spring boxes and we are giving away two $50 bonds to two lucky winners. All I have to do is comment your name, name, name below. Make sure you guys are still to the channel and make sure you guys like the video. I definitely, definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Everybody get your fucking hands up.